Hello everybody, welcome back to another Daisy Leaps video and I've done this intro so many times now so we're just going to get straight into the intro and I, I'm just a crocheter, a knitter, a lover of all things fiber arts and yarn. That's that's pretty much all there is to know about me and yeah let's get into this unboxing because I've done this intro so many times. Okay so first of all I'm so excited to I received this new machine i bought this machine on amazon it was around 70 to 80 dollars and um it arrived very quickly i am excited for this new machine because i have a lot of yarn and i want to get rid of that yarn i always do this thing around the fall time which is how much yarn can i get rid of just to start like fresh for the new year instead of um like hoarding a bunch of yarn i do like to use the yarn even though i am a yarn addict so this is the Centro knitting machine. Let's see, I love this box packaging. It's very cute. Um, it has some examples of what you can make with it. It looks like you can make hats and gloves and burnished pumpkins and it has tension levers, four balls of yarn is, comes with it. So let's just get into the unboxing. This is my, is this my first unboxing video? I'm not sure, but I always enjoy watching unboxings, so. I do want to become good at them. And for me also too, it's always about finding like the right um, camera angles. So right there. I'm so excited to learn how to use this machine, honestly. Let's open it up. Oh, it's backwards. Hold on a second. Oh no, it all came out. It's okay. It's all right. We'll just put everything back in there and act like everything didn't just fall out. So this is what the box looks like upon opening. And as you can see, kind of lift myself up a little bit. It comes with these cute little yarns. I think there's four of them in different colors, like um, a light pink and a dark pink and then a light blue and a dark blue. Um, these just look like standard acrylic for like, wait for yarn. Yeah, nothing much to it. I definitely will use this yarn though. I'm a yarny, so this will be added to the collection. And then it comes with, these look like the legs, the screwdriver. We're about to put this thing together together, okay. And here we have also an instruction manual. Hopefully this is not too difficult to put together. So now we're going to open up the machine. All right. I'm so excited. I'm so freaking excited. All right. And this is the central knitting machine, guys. I'm just sitting this on my lap right here. Like, and I, I can always, already imagine just, oh my God. Wow. There's just nothing in there. So let's unbox this thing, okay? I'm kind of going to lay everything out, like, on the box. So we have four legs, which I'm going to lay out on the box. We have a crochet hook, okay. This is a small one, 3.75 millimeters. Milliliters? Oh, let's act like I didn't say that. Um, this is big, this is a, a darning needle. Screwdriver. I don't know what this is, look like little suction cups. And then more needles. And then we also have, I think this is the tension hook lever. All right, let's get into these instructions. Let's see. Yay, I love instructions. So this is flat panel knitting and then you have the knitting machine instructions. Okay, let's read this out. Y'all about to sit with me through this. <clears throat> It has a row counter. 
Oh my gosh, it, it does. It's counting it. Wow. That's so cool. A yarn guide. 48 hooks total. This is the handle. And then it has a panel and tube knitting. And this is on tube knitting right now. And then this is just the panel. I wonder what that difference is. And then the tension lever, which I'm assuming is this piece right here that will hook in some way, somehow. This is as tips before you start. You must get the tension correct or the machine could drop stitches. If this happens, loosen or tighten the tension. It is important to make a swatch with your chosen yarn to find the best tension. With worsted, try placing the yarn in two holes of the thread holder. With thin yarns, try all three holes. Yarn must be loose as you knit. Unwind your yarn and keep a loose puddle on the floor or table so that it never tightens as it feeds into the machine. Stabilize your machine. According to the accessories um, installation instructions, to set the machine's pillars and suction cups well at first, then place the unit on a flat table. The machine won't perform well if it wobbles or moves while you work. You will be holding the top of the machine with one hand to keep it steady and cranking with the other. Turn the tension guide towards you. You will need to be able to control the tension of the yarn while you are working. Do not crank the handle too hard or too fast as this may damage the machine and drop stitches will be unmovable. I'm sorry, unavoidable. And if yarn seems stuck or on a hook, push the stitch or stitches that are on the hook from the bottom of the hook towards the back of the needle. Uh, different weights of yarn will require different amounts of tension. Do not be alarmed if the machine makes a little noise when knitting with tight attention. It may be a little harder to turn the crank, proceeding slowly and evenly. Do not forget to set the row counter to zero when you use tube knitting. Um, and then it just shows different for the panels, choosing the right yarn. Now we have the set up. So this is for the tension. And I'm guessing that we just hook in here, am I right? Or am I right? Am I right or am I right? Am I right or am I right? Yeah, so did I do it? All right, I, th I think I set the tension part in there. Um, let's see how we put the legs on. Do we have instructions for that? We do. Okay, so we have four pliers, four suction cups, four screwdrivers, and not screwdrivers, four screws, and one screwdriver. Insert the pillar into the notch on the bottom of the machine, then tighten the screw. So I'm gonna try to bend the camera down a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better, even if you don't see me as much. It's okay, y'all know what I look like. Okay, so we're here with a new angle so I can set this machine up for you guys. Um, let me unwrap this right here. Don't want to lose any of these pieces. These screws look small. I'm going to just lay that out right there. Take one of these and let's read. What does it say? Um, insert the pillar into the notch. We inserted the pillar into the notch. Then tighten the screw. Um, we're gonna take the screw, tiny little thing, and then tighten it, okay. Guys, we're putting it together. Fun. I don't, I like putting stuff together. I don't know. I put together this whole. I think I have it as like a uh, Insta, not Instagram, a YouTube short. I put together this whole um, dresser you see behind me. Turn it this way. Do the next one. And it's like I want to start creating with this now, but I know I have to like finish cleaning up my room. In there, we want to make sure that we're like placing it in there. Okay, 
There we go. I can feel something tight and tight and tight. Now, honestly, I'm running out of room of where to keep putting things at, so I don't know where this is gonna go. It's probably just gonna be sitting on the floor for now until I can find a place or put it on top of the dresser. Next one. I don't want to break it, but it doesn't seem to be in it. Let's try to put it in the next one. Like so, like that. Next up. Oh, why am I gonna put the screw? Okay, I found it. Can't look at Oh, he came before. This is gonna be so freaking fun. What should I make with this? I already know, like, I want to make some skirts and I dropped it again. Some skirts and dresses, tops, blanket. So I could just create like panels and then sew those panels together. this one not wanting to get in here there we go there we go it's not too difficult to put together I would, I'm interested to uh, see how this how difficult the difficulty level of putting like actually working with this thing is and now it says, place the suction cup into the notch on the machine pulley. Place the suction cup into the notch. in there that's all push they're making it seem like it's easy peasy lemon squeezy place the sub suction cup into the notch like, it's just gonna slide in. It is not. Okay, uh, is it done? Is it, did I put it all the way together? Yeah! Oh my gosh, this is it. It is all together. Look at it go, I'm so excited. It's a little loose. Okay, let me tie it up. And this is the panel. So that one goes back and forth. But where's the starting stitch at? Let's see if this is the one I'm guessing. Ah, this this white one comes up. So now we're switching back. Okay. 
I'm so freaking excited and I can't wait to start producing some things for you guys with this. And if you guys have any like ideas of things that you want me to make with this central knitting machine, please do let me know. I'm always down. And yeah, I just want you guys to know I'm thankful. I saw that we're like at 300 subscribers and that's, that's really amazing. Like 300 people subscribed, whether you're still watching the videos or not. And I saw like one of my last like little mini vlogs had like 200 something views in less than four days. So I just want to keep growing and keep, keep building with you guys. Uh, that That's pretty much me. I'm very simple. Uh, I just want to be a light, you know, to the world through uh, whatever creativity outlet I'm vibing with at the moment. Right now with crocheting and knitting, that might change to sewing, that might change to poetry, you know, that might change to gardening. I don't know. I just know that I'm a creative being uh, because I was made from a creative God. And I just want to share that with you guys and hope you guys find some light, positivity, education, enjoyment, you know, in it all. And if anything, just to be a motivator for you guys, something that you can watch, you know, and feel empowered, encouraged, you know, even if I'm not always speaking about something positive, just from the vibe that you're getting from it. I hope that it just uplifts your spirits to know that you guys are loved, that you guys are seen, that you guys are heard. And now, yeah, let's keep going. You know, let's just keep going. Let's keep fighting. And yeah, we're, we're going to make it out. It's going to be all right. We got this. We got this. Let's crochet the meat. Knit. Oh my God. This is how we're in this video too. I'm not cutting that out. Let's knit in the meantime, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos, please like, comment, subscribe. No, subscribe, like, I don't know. <laughs> I usually don't even say that in my videos, but if you want to subscribe, I would definitely, I would definitely, it's getting chaotic. I would definitely appreciate the subscription. Um, it really does motivate me to see you guys subscribing and liking, and I want you guys to comment more, like, cause I want to interact with you guys. I like to talk, okay? So as you can tell, so we can get down in the chat and really, and really to chat. So, oh, well, I'm getting cringed out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I am Desi Loops, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.